All right, we have some big breaking news coming in right here. Chhattisgarh Congress MLAs have landed in Delhi. About a dozen of the MLAs have now reached Chhattisgarh. In fact, the MLAs close to Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel seeking a meeting currently with the party high command. The MLAs of Baghel camp raise a pitch against change of guard in the state. Now, just as Punjab crisis overwhelming the Congress high command, here you have another state which is in doldrums. You have Bhupesh Baghel's supporters, Congress MLAs, who are now landed in Delhi wanting a meeting with the Congress High Command, asking, in fact, the Congress High Command not to change guard as yet. Let me quickly cut across to Anand Patel joining us for more on that. Anand, how many of these MLAs are currently in Delhi and what is their grouse? What is their demand? Because we thought that the Congress managed to douse that, uh, douse all that crisis in Chhattisgarh by almost announcing that Dio will be taking over the second half. Here is Bagel's supporters, his loyalists, who are now against this change of guard. It seems like crisis brewing in Chhattisgarh out of their control. Well, yes, uh, this is what we are picking up, uh, Nabila. Uh, uh, you know, uh, all these MLAs, uh, at least 11 of them have landed. Uh, 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 short, uh, Anand, I'm going to cut you short. I'm going to quickly cut across to a big breaking news coming in. Amid all the crisis in Punjab, we hear that Captain Amrinder Singh has just reached Amit Shah's residence. Captain Amrinder Singh, former Chief Minister of Punjab, who was forced to resign by the Congress High Command, has now just reached Amit Shah's residence. Of course, raising a lot of speculations if he is going to be joining the BJP formally. All that word and talk now almost coming into reality with Amrinder Singh now reaching Amit Shah's residence. In fact, this was on the cards. Amrinder Singh was supposed to be meeting with the BJP top guns, but that meeting he claimed was only personal. Nonetheless, it has raised a lot of speculation on the reason or the purpose behind Amrinder Singh meeting with Amit Shah. He just landed at Amit Shah's residence. He is going to be meeting with Amit Shah. In fact, India Today has found that uh, Amrinder Singh had sought an appointment with the BJP High Command or rather the top guns, including Amit Shah. He had asked for a meeting with them. There was a lot of talk about him coming into Delhi and be meeting with the BJP top guns and exactly what, how it's panned out now. We see that Amrinder Singh has now just landed in Delhi. He's reached Amit Shah's residence. Let me quickly cut across. Anand Patel, over to you right here. Amid all the crisis in Punjab and with Navjot Singh Sidhu resigning as a PCC chief, after Amrinder was forced to resign as a chief minister, this is a big, big development coming in with Amrinder now landing at the doorstep of Amit Shah. What is the purpose of this meet? Well, Nabila, we broke this story yesterday. It says that Amrinder Singh is landing in Delhi and he's likely to meet Amit Shah. And today, you know, we have confirmation that he's reached uh, uh, Amit Shah's residence, uh, though his, you know, uh, people close to him were, you know, yesterday denying this news that, uh, you know, he's coming to Delhi only to clear out uh, his official residence as Kapoor House and meeting some, uh, you know, close friends. But uh, we had uh, put out this story yesterday itself that he'll be meeting Amit Shah and that is what is exactly playing out now. Uh, Captain Amrinder Singh is meeting uh, Home Minister Amit Shah. Now, what we are picking up is uh, uh, Nabila, uh, Captain Amrinder Singh not joining a BJP, uh, you know, in near future, but he's meeting uh, uh, Amit Shah uh, over security issues. Remember, he when he stepped down as Chief Minister of Punjab, he had attacked Navjot Singh Sidhu and he had warned that if Sidhu is given the leadership of Punjab, Punjab is a border state and Sidhu uh, is close to ISI chief, he's close to Pak Army chief and Imran Khan. And given the sensitivity of the border state, he is a national threat. He's security. He is a threat to the national security. And in that context, he is meeting uh, Amit Shah, the uh, Home Minister, to you know apprise him of what is the situation on the border. He had been saying that uh, you know arms and ammunition are coming from across the border. Drones are coming. They are dropping uh, arms in border state. So he is meeting Amit Shah in that context. But. We all know that Captain Amrinder Singh is also exploring possibilities of a fresh uh, platform to launch his all-out war against Navjot Singh Sidhu, the man who saw him out as Chief Minister of Punjab. Now, the options before Captain Amrinder Singh uh, are very clear. You know, he cannot join hands with BJP at the moment because in Punjab, on the ground, there is a lot of anger against the BJP, against the centre over the farm laws. 
Farmers are yeah. agitating in for fact, almost 10 months we now. We see very issue. clearly visuals coming in on our screens here. We see the cavalcade just on its way that just landed at Amit Shah's residence. Amrinder Singh there has met with the BJP top gun. Amit Shah, he sought a meeting with Amit Shah. In fact, this was a speculation that India Today broke to you first that Captain Amrinder Singh was all set to be meeting with the BJP High Command and here he lands at Amit Shah's residence. That's the visual that you get here on your screens. Amrinder Singh's cavalcade there just reaching Amit Shah's residence. In fact, Anand, we know that Amrinder Singh was wanting to meet with Amit Shah and maybe uh, the BJP's top guns only to speak on Punjab security, national security. But at the moment, for him, after he resigns from the Congress or rather resigns as the Chief Minister of Punjab, in what capacity is he going to be discussing Punjab's security or national security or even border security for that? Well, that's interesting, uh, Nabila. Yes, he's no more the Chief Minister of Punjab, but uh, he's still, you know, an, an MLA, an elected MLA of the Punjab state. Uh, so in that capacity, he can very well meet. And also, as an ex-Chief Minister of Punjab, he, uh, you know, he has sought time uh, to meet uh, uh, the Home Minister, and the Home Minister has obliged him. So this is, yes, uh, you know, uh, a lot of background is also there in this meeting. But on the face of it, if you look at it, the captain has, you know, uh, all the uh, uh, advantage as an ex-chief minister uh, to apprise the chief minister, uh, chief, uh, home minister of what is the ground situation in Punjab. He, he has also been saying that the you know farmers who are agitating uh, in the state uh, uh, from across the border, there are uh, uh, you know uh, forces who want to take advantage of the situation. There are Khalistani elements who want to take advantage of the situation, and that's the reason why Centre should solve this farm crisis as soon as possible. So these are two possible context uh, over which this meeting can take place, uh, Nabila. But yes, uh, as we have been saying, Captain Amrinder Singh is exploring political alt alternative for himself also. There is a possibility that he might seek concession uh, on the farm laws and then, uh, you know, uh, go back to Punjab uh, as, as, as an uh, achiever, as someone who's bargained a bit for the farmers, on behalf of the farmers from the centre, something which the centre has not given so far. And then he has an edge over other politicians and then he might, you know, uh, join hands with the BJP. At the moment, right. yeah, this is a speculation, but this is possibility, likelihood, we right. cannot rule out. All right. Uh, Anand, if I can, uh, you know, cut across and cut focus here. While you have Amrinder Singh meeting with Amit Shah at his residence here, you have simultaneously Congress MLAs from Chhattisgarh, the uh, Bupesh Bagel camp, who have now arrived into Delhi seeking an appointment with the... Congress High Command wanting for them, in fact, they're wanting to pitch against the change of guard which the Congress has promised, uh, replacing Bupesh Bagel with Dio. What's, how is that going to pan out? Has the High Command given them appointment as yet? Uh, Nabila, what we are told is uh, the uh, about a dozen MLAs, uh, all of them belonging to uh, Bupesh Bagel camp, have come here. Uh, they are in uh, Chhattisgarh Southern. And they have sought an appointment uh, with uh, K.C. Venugopal, General Secretary Organization. K.C. Venugopal is not in Delhi. He's traveling with uh, Rahul Gandhi. He's in Vainad. Uh, so perhaps tomorrow, uh, when he's, he's likely to land tomorrow afternoon, only then the picture will be clear. But, you know, this uh, visit of the MLA's su surprise visit uh, comes in the background of about a dozen MLA uh, writing to party high command that they are ready to resign if Bhupel, Bhupesh Bagel is replaced... Uh, uh, with uh, T.S. Singh Dev. Uh, remember, Bhupesh Bagel has Anand, stay with us. Anand, stay with us. I'm going to quickly cut across to Kamaljit Sandhu, who's right there outside uh, Amit Shah's residence. Uh, all right, she's outside Sidhu's residence. Go on, Kamaljit. What exactly do you see there? Uh, we are looking at, uh, of course, at one hand, Amrinder Singh is meeting with the BJP leadership. On the other, you have Navjo Singh Sidhu, who's just resigned, and the Congress party now in no mood to entertain him anymore. They're already looking for an alternative, a change of uh, chief for the PCC. They've not reached out to him as yet. Do we know anything on that? Nabila, I'm at ground zero. I'm outside Navjo Singh Sidhu's residence here in Patiala. Uh, but this is a ping pong ball match because remember the action shifting from Patiala back to Delhi where Captain Amrinder Singh is now meeting Home Minister Amit Shah. 
Now, the politics could go any ways. There were speculations and conspiracy theories rife. Uh, there have been WhatsApp messages doing the round that Captain could just cross over from Congress Party to BJP. But this is only a matter of speculation because the media advisor to the Captain has said that uh, Captain Amrita Singh has always been a congressman. Uh, so there is going to be no change. Uh, what he's been up against is Navjot Singh Sidhu and his CM candidature. Now, even as far as Sidhu is concerned, things have not gone down well because with the change of guard, what he perhaps thought was that he would be put in place. But interestingly, uh, once this entire focus was back on Sidhu, uh, Captain himself uh, went to Delhi and there was speculation he would be meeting Home Minister. That has now happened 24 hours later. He's also expected to meet JP Nadda. So is there some other plan that Captain has and whether captain could play a further spoil sport for Congress party because three to four months short of Punjab assembly polls, all this action is happening and all hell is breaking loose in the Congress party, whether it's on the internal front or the external front. Now, what is important is what sort of exchange of talk could happen and what is on the platter from Amit Shah's side and what's on platter as far as Captain Amrinder is concerned. We are outside Sidhu's residence. He's locked himself up right from morning. Uh, there was uh, some sort of input that he would move to Chandigarh, uh, but a sulking Sidhu has been inside. He's not been going out anywhere. Now, since he has tweeted and talked about this entire position, remember, many are saying, what is Sidhu's next move going to be? All this has now come to a certain point where things are on a boil. Channi firmly in charge in Chandigarh meeting his ministers, Sidhu sulking inside, several of the MLAs meeting him. So the camps are still very much intact, whether it's captain, whether it is uh, Sidhu or whether that, that matter is Channi. Again, Congress can't seem to put its act together. So at this point of time, action shifting back and forth from Patiala. Right. Right, Kamaljeet, uh, stay with us. Of course, we are continuing to track all those developments. As we speak, Amrinder Singh has just reached Amit Shah's residence. He calls this a personal meeting, but we all know that uh, right after the Congress literally cornered him to resign, a disgruntled, upset um, Amrinder Singh has been already sending out feelers that he may be jumping ship. Let me cut across. I have with me joining us right here. We have uh, Harmeet Shah Singh, who's been tracking the developments in Punjab. Harmeet, right now, Captain Amrinder Singh is in Amit Shah's residence. He calls it a personal meet. But do you look beyond uh, his statement calling this personal? Do you see that there could be some sentiment of uh, anger which will force him to join the BJP? Of course, the BJP is welcoming. You see, there is nothing personal in politics, especially uh, when, when we talk about leaders as tall as Amrinder Singh. Remember, Amrinder Singh, Captain Amrinder Singh is the tallest leader in Punjab after uh, uh, Senior Badal. Uh, now, uh, there is one thing which is very clear in the overall context of Punjab. If you see it since the uh, sta uh, start of uh, 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 the farm agitation, the Akalis left the BJP and, 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 and that, uh, you know, old alliance broke off. Now, uh, BJP doesn't have an ally in Punjab. Then we see uh, all the events that have unfolded in the past couple of months within the Congress. There is a Sidhu factor and there is this rift going on. Right. Now, in, in this, uh, if, if you see it from that perspective, one thing that you know emerges out very loud and clear is that perhaps there is no such, no formal announcement, but the BJP in Delhi and Captain Amrinder Singh in a way have come across as natural allies mm. uh, especially in the in the punjab scheme of things you know they have common interest and remember captain amrinder singh enjoys a decent fan following among uh, the hindus of punjab right. especially in urban areas right. so here lies uh, and, and the interests have really converged uh, in the light of uh, what all has happened uh, in the past few weeks and over uh, one, one, one year of farm All right. agitation. All right, let me quickly cut across to Palmi Saha as well, joining us. She's tracking those developments right outside Amit Shah's residence. Amrinder Singh, the former chief minister of Punjab, who was forced by the Congress High, High Command to resign, has now landed up at the doors of Amit Shah. Palmi, do you read beyond that? Do you think this is a welcome into BJP and Amrinder Singh is possibly mulling over it? Well, uh, Nabila, we cannot rule out the prospect of uh, Captain Am 
Amrinder Singh explaining his options uh, now in the wake of uh, the kind of snub that he uh, felt in the Congress party when he was asked to step down. And then, of course, uh, you know, uh, uh, Chiranjay Singh Chani became uh, the next chief minister of uh, uh, Punjab. Of course, uh, he had his I told you so moment yesterday when Sidhu quit as uh, the Pradesh Congress uh, chief uh, um, uh, of uh, the Congress in Punjab. And then he, of course, said, I told you he's not very stable. But Captain Amrinder Singh, while he's, of course, reiterated in the past while stepping down and submitting his resignation uh, to the governor that he continues to be with the Congress party, he has never quite, uh, you know, distinctly ruled out the possibility that he's not looking at options. Currently, of course, uh, joining hands with the Bharatiya Janata Party could be very detrimental uh, to him uh, publicly because of the fact that he's taken a very strong position in support of the farmers as uh, in his previous capacity as former chief minister of Punjab against the government in uh, the center and of course supported the farmers. He's uh, you know, supported their demands, of course, in, on some occasions not supported the way they protested, uh, bringing uh, the state to a standstill. Uh, but he has supported their demands for him to to be aligned with the BJP right now could be very detrimental uh, for him in terms of his prospects. Right. I'm going to I'm going to try and patch follow me back again. But here, Amrinder Singh, after yesterday denying that he's ha he has anything to do with the BJP or will be meeting with the BJP leadership today, turns up at Amit Shah's residence. Remember, uh, Captain Amrinder Singh has has often flagged off national security issues, uh, border issues. Um, along with Punjab, of course, and the concerns that are that have been placed on the table time and again of uh, terrorism, issues of terrorism and all those kinds has been constantly uh, been updated by Amrinder Singh to the BJP leadership, but in the capacity of the Punjab chief minister. Today, he is no more the Punjab chief minister, yet reaches Amit Shah's residence, but wants to talk to him on a personal note. What kind of personal note? In fact, what, what really is the discussion is he going to be having with uh, Amit Shah? Let me cut across to Kamalji joining us as well. Kamalji, uh, we are really curious to know what exactly is the meeting or what's on the agenda here. Uh, for Amrinder Singh. He first says that he, is, uh, he has nothing to do with the BJP. There's, it, it's ruled out. He will not join the BJP. That was his tone all this while. And after denying that he has a meeting scheduled, he now lands up at Amit Shah's residence and says he has something personal to talk with him. Interesting turn of events happening in Delhi and even in Patiala. But let me tell you, Captain Amrinder Singh meeting Home Minister Amit Shah at an opportune time. Uh, so yes, uh, the focus shifted back to Navjot Singh Sidhu once he put in his resignation. Uh, but what can Captain do which could actually damage uh, Congress's uh, prospects? What is important and significant is uh, that as far as BJP is concerned, uh, which has been facing a lot of brunt since the farmer agitation, uh, they simply lack a Sikh face, which they can possibly get in the name of Captain Amrinder Singh if they have something to offer as far as the captain himself is concerned. Now, so far, his own media advisor and the others have been saying that captain is solely a congressman. Uh, but we've seen that earlier also he had left and came back to Congress party, but that is history. What is important and significant and is at stake is not just Captain's ego, but also about how Congress seems to be playing ball. It seems uh, that uh, with different camps now ruling the roost, uh, there is a new one, which is Chani versus Navjo Singh Sidhu. It's also a Dalit first, now versus a Jat Sikh face. It did seem that Navjo Singh Sidhu was perhaps thinking that he would be the man who would replace Captain uh, Amrinder Singh once there is a change of guard uh, but nothing is going according to plan and this is what politics really is about and now with captain also considering his prospects as to whether he can continue to stay in Congress party or whether he will cross over and make uh, and cross over to a line in a party which was unimaginable uh, a few months ago right. but right now is also the election time and even friends and foes these are things which can be exchanged at any point of time in elections because they say well, absolutely Kamalji, in, nothing uh, nothing is permanent in politics. And politics and that's what we see here absolutely we see what's happening in punjab almost becoming a laughing stock for the congress high command undoubtedly let me cut across to rajdeep sir this i also joining us for more on that rajdeep amrinder singh just landed at amit shah's residence he's meeting him and he calls this a personal meet well, when uh, I had spoken to Captain's advisors yesterday, they had insisted that this was a meet where Captain wanted to apprise the Home Minister about his concerns on certain security issues involving Punjab. He claimed that the Captain's office, when he was Chief Minister, had intercepted certain messages. Uh, and 
they wanted to communicate those messages about potential strikes from Pakistan. Now, the fact is, if this was, had happened when he was chief minister, he would have sent these messages while he was chief minister. Clearly, he's done it at the moment to send out the message that his options are open. By meeting Amit Shah within days of having resigned as chief minister, clearly the message that Captain Amrinder somewhere is setting is that I have a good equation with the BJP at the centre. My options are open. Also giving the BJP enough of an opening to suggest that if the BJP perhaps can resolve the contentious issue of the farmers' agitation, then maybe they can get Captain on their side. So it is Captain now playing step by step. This is a chess game at the moment. Captain has made his latest move, again, to send out a message both to the Congress and in a way to the BJP that he is someone whose options are open. He is open for negotiations ahead of the election. There is no other reason why you should have a high-profile personal meeting on security issues with the Home Minister, on issues which could have easily been handled while he was Chief Minister as well. Absolutely. You have Amrinder Singh now at Amit Shah's residence. He refuses to divulge details. If it was about security, he, he, he wouldn't have had any qualms in actually revealing what exactly was on the agenda. Oh, absolutely. I mean, now uh, what I was told is that the captain, had, as I said, captain's uh, office claims that there have been certain messages that indicate that Pakistan is using the instability in Punjab to its advantage and wanted to communicate this. Now, all of this could have easily been done over a phone call. But the captain wanted to be in Delhi, wants to be seen in the company of Amit Shah, so that the message goes out, particularly to the Congress, which is still struggling now in, uh, with Navjot Singh Sidhu's resignation. And to be fair, captain's meeting with Amit Shah was, uh, was planned even before that resignation dramatically came yesterday. But the message is clear that the captain is someone now who slowly but steadily has drifted away from the Congress and is possibly looking at how can he strike a deal with the centre ahead of the Punjab election. Right, Prashid, thank you very much for joining us with those details. I'm going to quickly cut across to Anand Patel as well. Anand, uh, this is massive embarrassment for the Congress. Undoubtedly, just at a time when they forced Amrinder Singh to resign, Navjot Singh Sidhu, immediately, days after, tenders his resignation because he's not happy with the developments and those who've been um, uh, inducted in the cabinet and other officials. So, for the Congress, it appears that they've lost on both sides. Two strong leaders have gone in just a matter of a week or so. Uh, do you think that the Congress High Command will now come around to actually pacify one of the two? They're clearly angry with Navjot Singh Sidhu. Well, Nabila, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very, you know, embarrassing situation for the Congress Party High Command, if you see. Uh, on one hand, uh, the former Chief Minister and, you know, a star leader for the Punjab uh, Congress, Captain Amrinder Singh, is hobnobbing with the BJP, uh, exploring alternatives after being removed uh, from the uh, Chief Ministership unceremoniously. And the person who was behind this entire uh, a mission to remove Captain Amrinder Singh uh, is also angry. He is also, uh, you know, resigned as the PPCC chief. Now that raises some very serious questions on the entire exercise which was carried out by the Gandhi siblings uh, to solve the Punjab crisis. You know, Punjab remains an unfinished agenda as far as uh, the party high command is concerned. The warring factions uh, which the Congress party high command thought will be at ease if, the, if Captain Amrinder Singh is removed and Sidhu is installed as PCC chief, uh, you know, the situation is completely uh, the other way around. And that's what you're seeing playing out now. Captain Amrinder Singh is meeting uh, Home Minister Amit Shah and there in Chandigarh, uh, Party High Command has sent an emissary to placate Navjot Singh Sidhu. It's a very paradoxical situation, Nabila, if you look at it. And the manner in which the entire... Punjab crisis has blown out of proportion. It's completely, you know, failure as far as uh, the party high command and the crisis managers of uh, party, uh, Congress party are concerned. And look at the kind of embarrassment the Congress party is facing uh, with this entire uh, Punjab unit of the Congress imploding over uh, the, uh, the leadership change. Navjot Singh Sidhu was, you know, placed at the top just a couple of months ago. And look what is happening now. He's again unhappy with the new chief minister and the decisions his government has taken. He's demanding that the new DGP be removed, the new AG be removed, and one of the cabinet ministers who has been inducted should be removed. 
and he said he'll not take back his resignation unless and until these decisions are taken. So clearly, the Congress Party High Command is, you know, in, you know it has been left red faced as far as Punjab is concerned. And well, you well, see not just Punjab, not just the, uh, Punjab. We just that... broke it a little while ago that you have Bhupesh Baghel's uh, loyalists from Chhattisgarh who come all the way now to Delhi, uh, seeking an appointment with the High Command, asking them not to change guard. Uh, so here you have the Punjab. In fact, not just uh, for the Congress, it's Punjab as well as Chhattisgarh, a few states that they actually govern, not able to keep their house in order just ahead of polls. It's quite embarrassing. Now, while Navjot Singh Sidhu resigns, you have Amrinder meeting the BJP. What next for the Congress? You think Rahul Gandhi, who's currently in Kerala, will find this an emergency situation to rush back to deal with it? Well, you know, this was a short visit for Rahul Gandhi and uh, one day visit. But, uh, you know, certainly this entire situation in uh, Punjab must be lurking uh, from behind. And, uh, you know, we are told that Rahul Gandhi had a meeting with K.C. Benugopal last evening uh, when the news came in uh, of Sidhu's resignation. Uh, and that is the reason why Harish Chaudhary was uh, rushed in uh, to solve the crisis. But uh, so far there is no breakthrough. We are told that uh, the local leadership has been told uh, to take Sidhu into confidence and try to sort it out as soon as possible before the situation goes out of hand. Because what Sidhu has raised are legitimate questions. And Nabila, we've been saying this since yesterday. Uh, you know, the three demands which he has put forward, uh, these were the same demands which he has been raising when Captain Amrinder Singh was the Chief Minister. So clearly no court correction has been done and the manner in which the cabinet has been uh, put in place, uh, Chandni cabinet, uh, you know, it looks like it was a exercise done without the proper thorough, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, apply, uh, apply, applying uh, the permutation and combinations which exist. And that is the reason why Navjot Singh Sidhu has come out in the open, uh, accusing its own government uh, of installing tainted uh, ministers in the cabinet. Now, this is big embarrassment uh, for the party high command and also for the Congress party in Punjab. Right. Uh, here, we also have... Um... Kamaljeet Sandhu is joining us right outside the house of Navjot Singh Sidhu. Kamaljeet, as much as Sidhu wants to, uh, you know, of course, work for the people of Punjab, he does not want to take sides or take, you know, support tainted leaders. He's against their appointment. Uh, at the same time, it appears that the Congress, on the other hand, is not seeing this kind of sincerity to his job. At least so he claims that he's sincere. Congress feels that he's just a troublemaker. At this point, they don't find the need to pacify him. Do you think that's going to be on the cards since Chani is already trying uh, to have a talk with Navjot Singh Sidhu? Do you think the Congress High Command too will try convincing him at a time when Amrinder is meeting Amit Shah? You know, it's a catch-22 situation for the Congress High Command because if they side with Channi, then Navjot Singh Sidhu is happy, which currently is the status. On the other hand, if they do now course correct and go with what Sidhu has been saying, they undermine Charanjit Singh Channi, a Dalit face, as the Chief Minister. So it's going to be a lot of trouble. The other part about Congress High Command is what they seem to be unhappy about is that a public resignation happened. Instead of reaching out to the party High Command, instead of giving feelers to them, he made a very public resignation, taking a high moral ground. Even today, he tweeted his video. Uh, so he's not given them much space or uh, even a saving face. And that seems to be the problem as far as Congress party is concerned. The other part is obviously about Captain Amrinder Singh, who's also been sulking and has been in Delhi. Now, with meeting Home Minister Amit Shah, uh, he's obviously sent out a message that his options are open. Uh, BJP, on the other hand, because of the farmer agitation, has been looking for a Sikh face. And remember, as far as the equations are concerned, Captain on his own part has never bad mouth either the Prime Minister Narendra Modi or Home Minister Amit Shah. There may have been differences. There may be difference of politics. Uh, but as far as uh, getting things right, uh, Am Amrinder Singh has been very, very measured. Now, the thing is that there are three camps now. One is the Captain Singh, uh, Amrinder Singh camp. The other is the Navjot Sidhu camp. And the third is the new camp, which is the Charanjit Singh Channi camp. And it seems to be a huge problem for Congress party because they can't seem to get it right and they can't seem to keep their flock together. Something they would want to go with confidence three months from now in the assembly polls. Uh, but yes, as far as Congress is concerned, they're only seeing one embarrassment after the other. So if Navjot Singh Sidhu has stumped them with their PCC resignation coming in, it is Captain Amrinder Singh who's thrown a googly at them. 
uh, this is obviously going to be a huge embarrassment and leaving the Congress High Command red face at this point of time. Because remember, as far as Priyanka and Rahul Gandhi are concerned, uh, they did beat uh, Navjot Singh Sidhu and they had completely sidelined Cap Captain Amrinder Singh. And this itself was a give, uh, big indication. But for Sidhu, things did not go in because now his options are limited. It's very difficult for him to now replace Charanjit Singh uh, Chani, who is a Dalit face. Uh, because that now equation is almost set in stone. And now right. he doesn't seem that he's very happy even with the postings. At least three yeah, of them, absolutely. whether it's Gurjeet Rana, whether it is the Advocate General or whether it's the DGP. With Navjot Singh Sidhu's resignation, undoubtedly Amrinder Singh here feels vindicated. The fact that he is currently in Amit Shah's residence after denying initially that he's not going to be meeting anybody from the BJP really speaks aloud. In fact, we have some breaking news coming in as well. But before that, I'm going to cut across to a small reaction uh, that Amrinder Singh gave much before he landed in Delhi, saying that he was in Delhi only to collect his last belongings. But otherwise, he was not uh, wanting to meet any leaders from the BJP. Eventually, he lands up at Amit Shah's residence. Let's take a listen what he had said. Kisse kisse milne ka program hai yahan par? Yahan mein ghar I am not meeting any politician. I have not met 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 any all right, we're going to continue tracking all those developments. Captain Amrinder Singh, after initially denying he's not going to be meeting with the BJP leadership, is currently, even as we speak, at Amit Shah's residence. I'm going to take you through all those details right after a short break. Stay with us.